In our book, Parts Work, we offer an illustrated introduction to the internal family systems model of psychotherapy. Through the use of over a hundred illustrations, this book offers a straightforward and simple approach to understanding ourselves and others using this IFS model. In this video clip, I discuss how I integrate IFS with the Buddhist model of consciousness used by Thich Nhat Hanh. I started training in internal family systems in 1988 with Richard Schwartz. And interestingly, at the same time, I went to my first workshop with Thich Nhat Hanh, the Vietnamese Buddhist teacher. And in this workshop, um, he introduced a model of consciousness, which looked something like this. He drew a circle with two halves, and he said that the bottom half is store consciousness, and the upper half is what he called um, everyday consciousness or the living room of our consciousness, where we live every day in our life. In this store consciousness are all of the seeds of the potential states of mind that can arise into the foreground of our consciousness. And the foreground of that consciousness is the state of mind that's present right now in the foreground. So it's possible that in your mind right now, you have a part, something like this, that's curious to learn something new. One of the ways that I really like the Buddhist psychology and the um, internal family systems model, the way they come together, is to look at the nature of how and why certain states of mind take over. And what the Buddhists say, when the internal conditions and the external conditions support it, a particular state of mind will arise. So if we have a state of mind in us now, that's, it could be fear, it could be anger, it could be joy, it's there because the internal conditions and the external conditions were such to support that arising. One of the things that we can do to change our internal conditions is to bring understanding into our system, right? so that we, that we can understand why are the parts there. And fortunately, there's a whole other state of mind that helps us do this rather than just our will, right? So, and that is the self. The self in this model is something that is um, a level, and one way to look at it is a level above the parts. It's a meta level. If we're in self, we have these states of mind. Like you say, well, how do I know I'm in self? Well, I have these states of mind. I feel confident. I feel calm. I'm able to connect with people in a balanced way. I feel compassionate. You have creativity, courage, curiosity. Now sometimes parts have these feelings too, right? But these are feelings that are really in self. If you're not having these feelings, if you're having judgment or anger or fear or helplessness, if you're not knowing what to do, then you're not in self. You're in a part. And when we're working with, when we're working with people in the therapeutic process, those are the signals for the fact that we're not yet in self and we need to find those parts that are carrying those feelings so that we can be in relationship to them versus being taken over by them. So you see the difference? There's a difference. If, if a part is taken over, they fill the living room and we don't have the center available to say, oh, I'm feeling this or that now. But empathy helps the person to step back and say, oh yeah, I feel hurt because that happened. Now I have awareness and I'm aware of that. That's why empathy is such an important and essential interactional process because it brings us into self. Oh,